Today, thousands turned out in India's capital to watch the country's new Prime Minister, Narendra Modi, take the oath of office. Amongst the politicians and celebrities, perhaps the person who received the most attention was Pakistan's Prime Minister, Nawaz Sharif. His presence at the ceremony is being seen as a possible opening for better relations between the two countries. From Delhi, the BBC's Sanjoy Majumdar reports. India's presidential palace, filled to capacity, to witness the change of God. A grand setting for a spectacular ceremony. The man of the moment, Narendra Modi, who swept to par with a historic victory and is now stepping onto the global stage. I, Narendra Damodar Das Modi, Ishwar ki sapat leta hun ki and with these words, he was sworn in as the 15th Prime Minister of India. Mr. Modi also unveiled his new cabinet, smaller, younger, and with more women than previous administrations. He has pledged to streamline government and make it more dynamic. There was also a special guest, Pakistani Prime Minister Nawaz Sharif, a surprise invitee, the first time a leader of India's arch-rival has graced such an occasion. Many are hoping it'll pave the way for a new beginning. Ahead of his arrival, Mr. Sharif ordered the release of more than 150 Indian fishermen, detained after straying into Pakistani waters. A goodwill gesture to help break the ice between the two countries. It's a proud moment for Narendra Modi, who started life selling tea at a railway station and is now Prime Minister of the world's largest democracy. It's been a seamless transfer of power. But now the real business begins. Mr. Modi has pledged to bring a new approach to government. India and the world will be watching. He has the mandate to become one of India's most powerful leaders. Now, it's his show. Sanjay Majumdar, BBC News, at the Presidential Palace, Delhi.